Hello and welcome to this video recorded for iVocal 2022 about C++ for OpenCL version 2021. This video is presented by Anastasia Stulova and it's co-authored with Eustas Yannikas. C++ for OpenCL kernel language that brings C++ features into OpenCL kernel programming has been based on C++17 and OpenCL2. However, OpenCL standard since then evolved and OpenCL3 has been released. Also, support of OpenCL3 has been ongoing in Clunk and its experimental feature complete uh, is released in Clunk 14 in March this year. Therefore, the main design objective of C++ for OpenCL 2021 version was to, first of all, provide uh, evolution of C++ kernel language alongside OpenCL standard and also to leverage existing implementation in Clunk. Just a brief overview of C++ for OpenCL 2021 in, in one slide. The key difference to OpenCL C3 is obviously in the fact that uh, you can use many C++ language features in it, um, such as features related to object-oriented programming paradigm or to generic programming paradigm. But in common behavior, there are also differences. For example, we lift the restrictions on the use of variadic macros, and we also leave restrictions on the use of built-in operators with atomic type as long as sequential consistency memory model is supported on the target because this is simply a default uh, consistency model for the C++ standard. Uh, blocks are not supported but lambda functions can be used in most of cases um, as a replacement apart from NQ kernel. Null macro is defined to a null a pointer literal and instead of uh, using integer literal as it was in OpenCLC. And um, also there are a number of differences coming from the fact that C++ is simply stricter than uh, C. For example, type conversions are stricter and the keyword restrict is not supported and also go to statements have a slightly different semantics. Um, the key differences to the predecessor of uh, C++ for OpenCL 2021 is that uh, there are a number of features that are made optional. And that is uh, because in OpenCL 3, uh, this feature became optional. Um, the examples of these features are generic address space or program scope variables in global address space or sequential consistency memory model. Uh, for the full list of features, I would like to refer to OpenCL C free uh, specification. And uh, another important key difference is that address space removal type trait has been introduced. And this is simply in order to make the uh, lang programming in this language more convenient. Let's just look at the implementation and clock a little bit. The experimental support for this new language version was released in Clunk 14. And here is an example how Clunk can be used to compile with it. So what we need to do is to set CL C++ 2021 in CLSTD flag and the rest is pretty standard. In this example, we are compiling down to SPRV binary. A couple of changes were made to version macros. For example, we added new macro CL CPP version 2021. And we also modified the value of OpenCL CPP version to 2021.00. We further unified uh, more of the C++ support with OpenCL C implementation. For example, we added a helper that allows to map C++ kernel dialect and C kernel dialect into corresponding compatible OpenCL version. And we use this helper all over the code base. For example, we use it to um, handle OpenCL uh, optional features. Uh, we extended further optionality of generic address space to C++ specific constructs. Obviously, in OpenCL C, generic address space optionality was already handled, but that didn't apply to implicit pointer to object parameters or to special member function prototypes. So we have to do this uh, for C++ for OpenCL to work correctly. And here again, we added another helper, and that helper kind of introduces a notion of default address space instead of being specific to generic. And it uh, 
switches between generic address space when it is supported and private address space when generic is not supported. Um, an address space removal utility was added and that was based on the feedback from the developer community about something that we didn't find easy with the previous C++ for OpenCell version. In this slide, I'm just going to provide a very brief demonstration of this new language version and its key concepts. And I'm going to use generic address space optionality in this example. Um, we are adding a new type class C and we are going to create two objects, one in global address space and one in private address space of, of this class C. Then we are going to call member foo, member function foo, with the both objects that we just created. If generic address space is supported, then just having this first overload of foo will be sufficient because it will default to generic address space and both global and private address space are convertible to generic address space. No problem here. Then if we don't have generic address space supported, what happens here is that exactly first overload of who will default to private address space. And that will be a problem for the last call into foo over here because it's done with global address space objects and global is not convertible to private address space. To circumvent this problem, we can simply declare second overload of foo as it is done here and we can qualify it with global address space. Now, there will be no problem here. If we don't want to add this overload for the case that generic address space is supported because it's redundant and it might result in larger binary site, which is undesirable, then what we can do is we can enclose this declaration of second foo in the uh, feature test macro check. And that's done exactly the same way as we condition certain code in OpenCLC on the uh, feature availability. Now let's complete our example. On the right hand side we have definition of our member foo and um, the second overload of it is again conditioned uh, by the feature test macro and uh, we are calling a helper function inside the foo body and this helper function is a template function. Uh, its template pr pr parameter type t is used to uh, declare the parameter, uh, pointer parameter to this helper function. And uh, the common case uh, in C++ is that you would use this T to create uh, local variables. However, if generic address space is supported, it will be a problem uh, because we can create local variables in generic address space and that is default address space um, in case generic address space is supported. So in order to succeed in declaring this uh, local variable of type T, what we need to do is uh, to use the address space removal type trait that I have just uh, spoken about a few minutes ago. So what we do here is the use remove address space uh, and then we pass type T into this template parameter over here and we will uh, get the member type defined uh, by this remove address space uh, trait and this type will be the same as original type, but the address space will be removed. And now we will um, succeed in declaring this uh, local variable. In my final slide, I would like to highlight that while new C++ for OpenCL language version was introduced and demonstrated in this video, there are a lot of details that are missing. And if you would like to learn more, please uh, refer to the unified language documentation for more details. Also, if you would like to know more about Clang support, please refer to Clang documentation for more details. At this point, we invite all developers for experimenting and contributing. And if you have feedback, we would like to hear about it because we use it to prioritize a bug fixing or implementing new features, as well as uh, to shape the language evolution. C++ for OpenCell 2021 is still missing uh, quite a bit of test coverage, which will help to drive it towards completion. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer it together with Eustace on the iVocal Slack channel.